Welcome to this jazz guitar lesson. I'm Chris Whiteman, and thanks for joining me. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at Barry Harris's six diminished scale and how to harmonize this scale to get a unique set of voicings that are going to offer more color, uh, more tension, and generally more sophistication. Then we're going to look at some examples of how to use uh, these voicings in the context of a 251 in the key of C major. So we're going to harmonize the six diminished scale with drop two voicings, but we're going to start on C major seven. Now some of you may be familiar with harmonizing this scale starting with a C6 voicing, and that is very hip. The difference is if you start on C6, you don't get as wide a variety of voicings. You basically get two primary harmonies. You, you get C6 and its inversions and B diminished and its inversions. So it would be C6. And then first inversion, B diminished, also known as D diminished. Uh, first inversion, C6, F diminished. Second inversion, C6, A flat diminished. Third inversion, C6, and B diminished. And then I'm back at my C6. So that's a very cool way to harmonize as well. There are a lot of videos uh, already that, that talk about this concept. Uh, maybe I'll do a future video on this. But there aren't as many talking about harmonizing starting on the major seven. So that's why I wanted to share this video with you. So before we get into that, let's just review really quickly about harmonizing just the standard C major scale. So C major scale, seven note scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Those are our seven notes. If we harmonize those, uh, we get a series of diatonic harmonies. So if I start on drop two C major seven, I get C major seven. In the second degree, I get D minor seven. Third degree, E minor seven. Fourth degree, F major seven. Fifth degree, G seven. Sixth degree, A minor seven. And the seventh degree is B half diminished. Right. So that's pretty standard. Most people probably know that already. And it's pretty, but it's you know somewhat vanilla. There's not a lot of color uh, in there. So now we want to look at harmonizing the six diminished scale. So the six diminished is actually an eight note scale. So it's all the notes of C major with the addition of A flat. So we get C, D, E, F, G, A flat, A, and then B. So, so eight notes. And by adding that A flat, now we're going to get eight different harmonies that are diatonic to the C6 diminished scale. Okay, so let's look at the voicings we get when we harmonize the C6 diminished starting with C major 7 drop 2. So we start out with C major 7, the second degree we get D minor 7 flat 5, the third degree E minor 11, our fourth degree F diminished major 7, our fifth degree is going to be G9 sus, our sixth degree A flat diminished major 7. Our seventh degree, A minor major seven, and our eighth degree, B half diminished, or B minor seven flat five. So again, so Barry Harris loved to create motion with harmony, and that's one of the things that we can do with a series of chords like this. We can use these voicings to break out of um, a static concept of harmony. So, for example, in a 2 5 1, you know, instead of just having one voicing for the 2 chord and one voicing for the 5 chord and one voicing for the 1 chord, we can begin to create sequences using these voicings to get some motion and color. There's one place in particular that I like to use these voicings, and that's going to be over the 5 chord. The five chord is naturally a point of tension, and, and we can enhance this by moving through multiple voicings for the five chord. 
So the voicings that you can use for the five chord are basically every other voicing in the scale. So if we look at C major, you know, that's gonna be our tonic, our one chord. Now, when I go to the two, you know, I can use this as a five because D half diminished is enharmonic, meaning it shares the same four notes with uh, a G7 suspended with a flat nine. So it's a colorful uh, a G chord, right? Um, the three chord, E minor 11, it's a sub for C major. So it's a one chord, it can be a tonic. Um, the four chord, F diminished major seven. This is in harmonic with a, a G13 flat nine. So another good dominant sound. Um, G9 sus. This could actually be either. It could be a dominant function or it, you could look at it as a, as a C sus, like a C suspended, a C6 suspended, right? Um, and then the uh, sixth chord, my A flat diminished major seven. I'm gonna think of this as a, a G triad with a flat nine in the bass. Um, and it, you know, this comes from diminished. So uh, if I move it down a minor third, there's my F diminished major seven from, from the fourth degrees, right? So I look at them as, you know, same chord basically, um, functioning the same. Uh, and then we have A minor major seven, uh, for the seventh degree. And this could be looked at as a C6 with a raised fifth. So it could be a colorful tonic voicing. If someone plays a C in the, in the bass. And then we have our eighth degree, which is gonna be B minor seven flat five. And this is in harmonic with the G9. So it's a dominant function, right? So we have basically tonic, dominant, tonic, dominant, Tonic or dominant, I'll, we'll go with tonic right now. And then dominant, tonic, dominant, and then back to tonic. So you can hear it's consonants, dissonance, consonants, dissonance, consonants, dissonance. Consonants eh, has a little bit of tension in there. Um, dissonance and then consonants. All right, so let's look at some examples of how I use this approach for comping through a 2-5-1 progression. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you found this information useful and you'll explore ways to integrate this concept into your own playing. If you like the video, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks.